Trey lost a close decision in his first fight. It was for us against Devon Wicker. Anthony has one kickboxing fight. He is 0-1 in kickboxing. Now, how much do you think the camo shorts affects their ability to see each other? I do not. You don't I, think at all? I don't think so. I don't know. I, I, well, the one guy I thought had floating legs. <laughs> Both guys seem pretty locked in on their opponents. Anthony, I know, has a well-rounded Taekwondo background. Also a blue belt in Jiu-Jitsu. Andre, I don't know much about this guy except he is tough as nails. Literally, he is like a machine in there. Andre definitely looks like the, 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 the a little more athletic. This is our first clinch exchange. Torres needs to really get that underhook. Oh. And Torres is able to stand it right back up. Back to his feet there. Torres has to get off the wall. Yeah, he he's can't fight in that position. That Torres, so are not, Anthony is trying to sneak his leg in front for a throw. You know, he's, Oh, and Torres does a good job with the churn. You know, wall wrestling is is its own martial art. It's a it's a uh, millimeters, milliseconds of fight. Yep. No lights, no lights. You can record just no lights. We come out to the middle. You know, it's interesting because it looked like Andre was able to take him down but wasn't able to hold him there. Yeah. And then kind of like there was a bit of a momentum shift. Yup. I noticed that too. But there's a significant welt on the back left shoulder of Torres. Torres changes leads. Barely misses with that head kick. Good, good round to the body. Good right hand by Andre. Pressing the action again. Boom. Andre Beautiful with a take late down into take side down. control. That's big. I think that when you look at the, the takedown early on. And you look at his takedown at the end of the first. Yep. I think that paints a picture that Andre won the first round. Yeah, I think so. I think with his first takedown, I think Anthony's striking slowly came back, even out the round was maybe even taking the round slowly. But that takedown there by Andre, especially late, that's got to be in the eyes of the judges that had to get him that first round. If I was Anthony's corners, I would definitely tell him he lost that first round. Oh, that's what you sound here. All right, we're walking into round two now of our scheduled three round fight. In this, a 170-pound MMA fight. Now, if I was uh, if I was Andre, I'd, I'd press him again with the punches and take him right back down. Absolutely. It looks like he's getting the better of the ground game, and he gets comes right back in. He, he outside trip into half. Hard to tell. It looks like half guard. Yeah, he's in half guard. You know, it's hard from this view for us to see. But he, yeah, he's in a, he's in half guard. He's postured up. Clearly, Andre intends on being a striker even from the ground, which there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Ground and pound works. He needs to be real careful of that heel, though. Torres is attempting to go for a heel hook. He's got it in there pretty deep, too. Um, 
It's he he looks like he has it. Andre needs He's to moved into a knee bar. On him. He's not doing the Got correct a defense straight right leg now. Knee bar. And it's out. He goes for it again. If I was Torres, I would try to use this. Now Torres is using that for some striking opportunities. He's now you got to be careful about burning all your energy, and he maybe burned all his energy there. Andre has now. Ooh, watch that up kick. Yeah, legal up kick to the face. Our referee is watching the action very, very closely. Torres is attempting to use his feet from an open guard position to kind of press him off. But he is crunched he needs up to against. Use that cage and wall walk and get back to his feet. You know, often the, the, the cage is referred to as the third leg, right? He needs to climb up that cage and get standing back up. But he cannot. He needs, he needs to get off of his back. He can't just lay flat on his back like this. Andre is comfortable. He's just going to grind yeah. out the round again. And, you know, Torres is attempting to, to strike a bit from the. He needs to use that right there either to sweep or stand back up. Yes, exactly. And he's, he's got He's up. All right. Good job by and Torres. There's back blood coming team. out of the, the either nose or eye of his left nose or left eye. Torres seems a little bit staggered. Both Anthony Torres and Andre and up seem to be a little more measured, a little more gassed. You know, grappling can be cardiovascularly quite intense. And another, another outside trip right to Andre. ground and pound. Trying to finish and it he's right got here. short time. Saved by the bell. No. No, 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 no. no. It's not over. It's not over. Andre thought the fight was over. It's not over. It's not, not over. over. It's not over. Andre needs it's to go over. into his corner. It's and not he over. He needs to relax right now. Still one more round left. One more here. round. It's not over. It's not over. Everybody not over. thinks the fight is over. That was only the second so, round. So Andre misread that situation. What the referee was trying to say was that the round was over. Andre read that as the fight was over. Yes. Yeah, There's yeah. one more round here, guys. That's big, man. He went into a lot of excitement there. Blew a lot of adrenaline. Torres needs to come. Look at Andre's corner. They're leaving him before. Time's up. I guess they feel comfortable. Torres needs to come off the off the stool and he needs to produce. In yeah. my opinion, and again, I'm not a judge. He is way, he's way down. I haven't seen Torres go for a takedown. I would try for a takedown and try his top game if yeah. I was him. I, I, as of right now, he's definitely not the better fighter from the bottom. Yeah. And it doesn't appear that he's going to outstrike this fight. Yeah, the striking has been pretty even, and he's been dominated on the ground. Okay, the referees asked for the judge to come in, I'm uh, sorry, for the doctor to come in and look at this cut. We're going to evaluate if he's able to continue to fight with the cut on his face. Now, you got to understand, they're not going to stop the fight because he's cut. What they'll stop the fight is if they don't believe, if the doctor does not believe that he's going to be able to continue to fight and protect himself at all times. Yeah, so Anthony said he was he wanted to go. We'll see here if Anthony goes for a takedown at all. Doesn't Anthony, look like it so far. Torres has to come out with a different plan. <laughs> yeah, because Andre... And right back to this. Now, he's got his leg. You know, Torres' corner keeps asking for an underhook there. I, I think that Torres needs a little bit more uh, practice on the wall wrestling aspect. And again, this is Torres' debut, so now he's discovering that, right? Yep, exactly. Oh, 
Andre with his pressure is just so much. Anthony just should right away, should just be circling and getting out of there. Andre's got good neck control right now. You know, he's taking this moment to kind of lull him into confidence, but there it is. Beautiful. Not where Torres wants to be Beautiful right throw. Here. And beautiful strike to the, the stomach. You know, Torres is, is trying to utilize his open guard to kind of keep Andre off of him, but that also means that Andre kind of gets to pick his shots now. You know? Torres needs to use the cage, he needs to shrimp off, he needs to press up, and he needs to stand back up, or he needs to use his leg to gain control. You know, um, Andre's legs are open. Torres could close his guard he if he needs wanted. He to close his guard. He's very close to closing it there. Andre's posture is just so good. But he can't allow him to keep passing. Yeah, he just now, stacks them right over in the half Interestingly, guard. one of the differences between MMA and Jiu-Jitsu is that in Jiu-Jitsu, you know, we, we believe that side control is a more dominant position than half. In MMA, we considered half to be a bit of a better position. Why? Because it's a non-athletic position. I can lock him down in half and I can punish him. Exactly. You know, this just staying, you know, Torres needs to either close his guard or he needs to stand up. Yeah, he definitely needs to because the referee is actually taking a close look and he's actually thinking about stopping it. Andre's not doing nothing serious. I don't think that Andre's got great ground and pound ability. No, but Torres has too. no answers right now. The, you know, maybe there's a scissor sweep here. Maybe there's a, but he's got to get his leg out of there. He needs to get his foot out. He needs to get both feet on Andre's hips and he needs to push him away. And we go to the judge's decision after three rounds. Are you a Colby Covington or a John a Jorge Masvidal fan? I am a fan of neither. Ah. I like Jorge more than I like Colby. But if I were to bet on the fight, I will bet on Colby to obliterate. Okay. Oh, yeah. those are fighting words, sir. Yeah. Unfortunately, I just think it's going to be like a Robbie Lawler repeat. Andre. Andre definitely earned that victory there. Inasov improves the one and one. I know Anthony's a little down on himself right now, but